Hi, welcome to my channel, The Weekly Finance. This is Wei, and in this video, I would like to share how to make uh, our report succulents uh, with uh, some unique plants. Look at these two plants. Uh, they are actually candle holders. Uh, a friend of mine interested me to uh, grow some succulents, uh, report some succulents for her in these uh, candle holders. Uh, there are no hole, of course. Uh, but I'm not so worried. And I like art for the first one. This tall guy is uh, kind of like four inches uh, planter, so it's not that hard to find a uh, matched planter and just uh, put it in. And I always recommend you to have a plastic pot in the planter, in the decorative planter, because in that situation, if you want to water your plant. It's easy, you can just uh, turn it upside down and slightly on the side and then take it out, do the bottom soaking and then let it fully dry, put it back in. Normally I do once a month, but also depends on the, you know, the weather, the temperature, the sunlight, the airflow, all the things that matter. So another trick for you to check whether you want to water your plants or not is just to touch the leaves. The second bottom layer, touch the leaves. If it is firm, that means it's still good. If it's soft with the wrinkle, that means I'm thirsty. And do remember to put it in a sunny spot because succulents, they love sunlight, but not full sun. When we say full sun, which is mean from noon to 2 p.m., and the sun directly cast onto the plant that is called full sun. They will get burnt and they turn ugly. So south facing window is the best. East and west is not the best, but it's not terrible. But when you see the leaves, for example, this guy here, it's a rosette, it's so compact. When it grows long, if the plant grows long and then the leaves are kind of with gaps in between, that means uh, it's elongated, uh, it is more sunlight. This is not a hard one, but this candle holder really got me. It's a beautiful piece, it's like a marble one. You know, I always love to use creative planters, and I really admire her when she came up with the idea about use these candle holders. I try all different sides of the planter. You see, this is too tall. Of course, this is too big, and some of them, like most of them, are tall because this guy is really like a shallow guy. In that situation, in order to plant plants in this container, what I prepared is these cobblestones. These are great things. Put them at the bottom; they will serve as a good drainage system because of the mineral contained inside of the pebble stone. They also offer a good nutrition system to your plant. But the thing is, for this plant, we couldn't plant any plant with long stems. If it's long stems, you can see, you can imagine the height is heavy and the root is not really holding by the pebble stone. It will fall out of the plant. So carefully and carefully, I finally make my mind with this uh, beautiful cactus and it's blooming look at it isn't that pretty what i just did is uh, two-thirds of this container now is uh, filled with pebble stones and now they do need some soil so what i will do is uh, i will use a fork fork is a good thing to lose the soil of your plant and that you wouldn't damage it, especially this type of plastic ones. Oh, okay, nice. I can see the root now. This is really an interesting cactus. When I take it out, you will understand why I said it's interesting. Now I will just uh, pour it out into this container carefully you can also keep using the the fork to move the cactus no actually it turned out this cactus is with a long root i couldn't use a long root a deep root one i could only use a short root one for this container 
So I will leave this guy alone. Sorry to disturb you, but you look pretty. And now what I will do is keep searching, find another plant to fit into this plant up. Let's after a good comparison and finally I settled down on this baby buttons or string of four buttons. Because this plant is uh, even though it's tall, it's quite light. And the root is not really deep. That's the important part. Like uh, I used the fork and just uh, take this piece up. And now what I will do is just uh, put it into this planter. I used the pebble stone. It's really want to decompose the drainage system. Otherwise, if the succulent roots sitting in the muddy soil like uh, for long, they will rot and the plant will die. And not this, uh, actually, I do grow succulents all door. For example, you see this guy here. The soil is quite white, but the drainage system is really important. Uh, my soil is mixed really well with the products. So the soil that really stay inside will just go immediately. Yesterday it rained so heavy. That's why you see it's still white. Succulents do need some soil to grow in. It's not like they don't want soil at all. So what I'm doing now is the ice with the soil it was growing back into this planter so it wouldn't get badly shocked because it is the, the environment it used to grow and like I said it doesn't have really deep root system so I don't need a lot of soil I think people feed in one of some planters only for succulents, the shallow one instead of like deep one. Okay, that's what it looks like now. For a good two months, it will grow longer and then uh, you can cut it. Uh, when it's twice as tall as this plant now, cut it uh, and then get it fully colored, put it back into soil, it will grow again. That's the amazing part about succulents. They just keep giving us the bright. And now in order to make the surface look nicer, sometimes I use a mouse and sometimes I just use the pebble stones. Right now the topping pebble stones are available. So what I'm doing is just to move them from A planter to B planter. It's quite light because of the pebbles going in. And to water this, uh, we really need to be careful. I will tell her just to spray the roots section instead of like uh, water the whole plant. Ta-da! Are they pretty? Thank you for watching my video. If you haven't subscribed my channel, do it. And if you like the video, please give us a thumb up and like for now.